Hello, I'm Haas. This is Haas and Mary's Fork in the Road. Mary's my soulmate, life partner, and business partner. She helps run the show, but she's not here at the moment. This is just more of a practice video to see how things go and to see how things work. I uh, did a time-lapse video of myself cooking bacon and then cleaning the grill. Everybody seemed pretty happy with that and wanted more of an in-depth uh, video and a little more detail on how to do that. So that's what this is. Uh, normally I clean the grill after, you know, the night of work. Uh, one day a week I bring it home and do a, a more detailed cleaning. So that's where we're at now. Uh, I've actually uh, brought the grill back up to temperature. Uh, uh, we had a busy night the, uh, last night. And now we're at home, but I brought the, recreated the same temperature that I would uh, want if I was cleaning the grill right after service. Uh, doing a few other things, as you can see, I'm boiling out the fryers, and I'll be cleaning the walls after I clean the uh, uh, the grill. I like to do that after to uh, minimize splash. And uh, I'm going to be moving this stuff in a second, but I just wanted to show you what I use. It's uh, uh, primarily uh, lemon juice, bargain, uh, you know, basement lemon juice. Not the kind that you would squeeze on fish, but more, you know, gallon jug, and I use uh, about a, a quarter of this during uh, during the cleaning. And uh, I like to spray on the sides only, uh, using a spray bottle with a little mix of uh, water. This is main made purple stuff. Uh, it's non-toxic, biodegradable cleaner, degreaser. I use I like to spray that on the sides uh, beforehand and during. And uh, not for the grill, but more just just to get things loosened up and get things going in the front. Uh, the flat top only gets some uh, lemon juice, and then I rinse everything with uh, a little bit of fresh water. Put that off to the side while we're waiting. I also use a metal scrubby and a grill brick, and uh, I've been using this a lot lately. Just getting into it after all these years in the food truck business just kind of getting uh, uh, into using one of these i always was a little skeptical but i'm actually kind of a big fan of it now just like that take off the big stuff like that temperature to get to a perfect temperature and I tell the temperature by just giving a little spray see what that's doing give this a good shake see what the temperature is by pouring a little bit of that on there that is very close to being perfect uh, it's got bubbles but it's not boiling away to, to dry off, and then the more that you pour on there, the, the better it's going to be. So this is actually looking pretty perfect, so I'm going to get right into this. That's just a little lemon juice that I've poured on there. I'm lightly going over the, the grill flat top with a grill brick. It's still hot. Not going to want to touch that. I've got my grill metal scrubby. I'll pour a little bit of that on there. It's hot. Watch out. But you can see that it's coming right off. you got to use a little bit of the temperature to your benefit. Pour a little bit more on there. It's hot, watch yourself. Don't be a hero. But I'm doing a few things all at once at the same time. Getting rid of some of this debris. Might even want to do that ahead of time. I was just showing you that it was a busy night. with a little bit more 
lemon juice. Going over it just a little bit more aggressively. But nothing real serious. It's coming off pretty easy. A little bit more, a little splash. All right, then. Get it all there. Go right up against the edges. Flip it around, get a better edge if you need to. A little bit more so it doesn't dry out. Just a firm pressure. Some people like to do circles. I like to do it straight up and down. Or side to side, whatever the, whatever the job calls for. Then every once in a while, I like to go right in the corner there. Scrape the excess used up lemon juice out. Okay, just help it along down the drain. Hit it with a little more scrub. Like I said, I'm new at this, I'm just learning. Don't know what people see, what people want. Been watching a lot of videos to get the hang of it, but I'm 50 and uh, this is where you get. Lemon juice. If you didn't notice, this side is where the real dirty, gritty, baked on stuff is. That's where I do most of my cooking. Over on that side is where I toast buns and warm up tortillas and hot dog buns and stuff like that. <laughs> I keep this side cooler and obviously I keep this side hotter. And that's how I clean it. I start over here and work my way over to this side. This looks like it's been a perfect temperature if it's any hotter. I don't suggest rushing it with either ice or cold water. Maybe just a little bit of room temperature water if you're in a real hurry, but if you add ice especially, the grill's going to crack eventually. At least it's going to warp uh, prematurely. Maybe a little bit more straight so you're not rubbing it all in. More lemon. gets too cool, feel free to put the grill back on and get it a little bit, get it back up to temp. You don't wanna, if it gets too cold, then it doesn't break down as well. I really haven't put that much pressure on this whole time. 
really letting the drill brick do most of the work. Even on this side. This is generally the hardest part. It's the hottest part of the night. Scrape it out. Got a little bit still left there. Look, this is non-toxic. It's just three part water, one part of that non-toxic degreaser, made made purple stuff. I like to just spray a little bit of that in the corner. I'm spraying this in a little bit, so I might as well just get that ready. I like to go around the edge, back up here, a little bit more on here. It's all soaking. There's no food out anywhere. It's all going to be rinsed off. A little lemon juice in the strain. Push it on that to get up on that uh, baked in stuff. Just kind of dig it in there, not on the grill, but on the side. Like I said, I'm new to this and uh, I don't know what's going on really, but the GoPro got overheated and gave out. So if you see a seam in this video, that's what happened. Maybe I can put it together, I'm not sure. But back to the video of cleaning. And uh, like I said, I was just finishing this up. Just not even really trying that, scrubbing that hard. Just. Going back to that uh, difficult area over here. This looks pretty good. behind a lot of its own residue so I'm gonna be rinsing that off leaves its own residue of charcoal or whatever it's made out of so that's when I like to basically take a ball of fresh water wipe it down something I'll just big deal
wiping that all down. Okay, you'll notice it's starting to, if the temperature was actually a little worse, the temperature is actually really perfect on this right now. But if the temperature was like, say, a little warmer, it would start to getting brown. It's kind of getting a little tarnished. I like to finish up cleaning right there. Sometimes I have a hot water bucket that I'm dunking this in. I don't have that right this second for some reason. But. of this brown I'll just throw a little bit more lemon juice on there but you gotta actively get it off otherwise you can make it a mess I like to use that lemon juice to finish up the sides the front let the lemon juice residue get on there otherwise that's just a sticky it's still pretty warm but that's pretty good I like to have a squeeze bottle of oil, fry lighter oil, canola oil, that I like to have handy. I just squeeze that on, cover it pretty liberally, a couple paper towels. The goal not to be uh, not to not to literally dry it off, just to wipe it around at an even level. It's not bad. I could have done better actually I can work on that edges next time had another another overheating issue so again this is the finished product uh, like I just was pointing out I, and that's why it overheated because I got a little too close to the grill but I could do a little better next time but as you can see not bad uh, nothing hazardous on there, just lemon juice, water, and like I said, main made purple stuff. Uh, one of my favorite products. In a few minutes, I'm going to be uh, cleaning the sides like that, and you know, in front there. And another important thing don't forget your drip tray after all that. Very important. Don't drive off with that, so I'm going to empty that next. But uh, another final thing that I like to do, no big deal. 
before I go ahead and clean all that residue off to the sides and do the continue on with any other cleaning, I want to maintain the oil on here and that shine. So I'm just going to lay down several layers of paper towels. That's it. Uh, like I said, I'm new at this. The camera got hot like two or three times, overheated. This is hopefully the result of a few videos put together. Like I said, I finish it up with layers of paper towels, so I'm going to be cleaning these, areas, these dirty areas afterwards, and I can be free to uh, spray what I want on there. I'm going to be using that main made purple stuff again, non-toxic, biodegradable degreaser. Uh, like I said, remember to uh, empty your uh, tray there before you drive off. And I uh, just want to thank you for watching the video. Uh, I don't know, I usually hear people say like and subscribe or hit a button or whatnot. You know about it more than I do probably, so thank you very much. Later.